So um, I work in watercolor, and actually watercolor chose me because when I very first started painting, I was using oils, but um, my children were younger then, and with their helpful little fingers, they would um, also dabble in my art, and I would find that their canvas sometimes was a different type of canvas than mine, like the walls, the, the furniture, the dog, those type of things. And so um, I needed to find something that would dry quickly, and so watercolor was the perfect choice for me. And the reason why I like working in watercolor is because I'm intrigued by the different um, types of effects that I can get from it, like um, washes with wet into wet and um, detailing with dry brush. But also with watercolor, you have to think backwards because when you're working in oils, your highlights you put on at the very last, but with watercolors, you have to block those highlights and know where your highlights are so that when you're finished, your paper is your highlight, and so it's, like, it's, it's interesting that way. Okay. Right now, my favorite subject has been old barns, and um, they are a vanishing part of our history. And so I like to capture the barns before they disappear, but also the stories behind them. And the difficult part about that is that a lot of times it's hard to find the owners to tell the stories. And then of course there's the pesky little barnyard dogs that are a little hard to get around sometimes too. But um, other things that I like to do, um, uh, other subjects are animals, landscapes, um, those type of things. Um, artists, I have many artists that have inspired me. Um, one of them has been my mother-in-law, Betty Thompson, and then my high school art teacher, Mrs. Opperly. And then, of course, there's the famous ones like Bev Doolittle and Thomas Kincaid. But um, I have found that my art is a gift and that if one of my painting enriches somebody's life, or if I can encourage another artist to follow their passion, that is also an inspiration.